It was my city. I don't recognize it anymore. Where's the bacon? Your last physical was a disaster. I want some bacon. And I want Cole Kidner. Let's who gets lucky first. I've been investigating somebody who appears squeaky clean, at least on paper. Walter Stoyan. The name doesn't even sound familiar to me. I haven't seen you in a while. I was on the wagon. I probably shouldn't have given you that drink then, huh? You know I'm gonna miss you? We were destitute Walters. He was sleeping under a bridge when he won that lottery, man. And I don't want to be on tape unless I feel safe. What's your idea of safety, Miss Moroni? Immediate. It's you. I need to see you right away. He said he was leaving town for a while. What are you doing here? Get lost. You know, I'll cover for you. How long have you been having that cough? 731 new coronavirus-related deaths, which bring the total in New York up to five. Does this have anything to do with my daughter's case? I am outraged. You're going to the hospital. No, I am not. Mr. Stoyanov, I'm calling you about your father. He tested positive for COVID-19. What is wrong with you? I'm trying to save you. I think I made this deal with you just so I could, I could have a pot to piss in a cable TV. No, I did it for Bobby. Thirteen years and I still don't know your name. Isn't that weird? You're better off that way. I always know you can change things. I've done it before. Everyone's talking about diversity and inclusion. That directly stems from the work that Beth Ann did. Without her, the opportunities wouldn't exist for me to do what I love. She's like a second mother to me. That one shining light of kindness. We're all students of Beth Ann Hardison. And I always say, just, you know, a hammock and a tequila, I'm good. You heard it first. <laughs> She's the godmother of fashion. When I started, I was the first black, black looking model on 7th Avenue. There was no people look like me. I knew the difference of segregation from childhood. These people thought that we were less. I let them know we are here. She realized she was the message. She represents this power. A lot of designers did not use models of color. No blacks, no ethnics. You don't know what it's like to be invisible. Where are the black girls? I saw the Black Girls Coalition. She moved our glamour and our good looks into the arena of activism. She's a game changer. She sacrificed a lot. My mother has enough ambition for the whole world. It's really hard as a single mom. I was scared to fail. But she wants us to win more than anything. It gets a little challenging at times. But that's gonna be part of your great story. I don't know who I think I am, but I do be trying. We want to provoke conversation. We want to provoke ideas. I'm not here to put anyone down. I'm here to bring everybody up. Bethann was able to unify us. She has changed the way beauty is defined. But I still want to do more things. Keep your hands. There are a lot of young people out there who really have something to say. And they come along like a tsunami. They come along as a wave. The game's not over. Once you meet this person, it's going to change your life. Let's shake it up. Whether you like it or not.
Clarence. I'm not a man without faults. I played the cards I was dealt. Clarence, in spite of your selfish ways, there's a beautiful soul in there somewhere. Clarence, it's him. Jesus of Nazareth. You can't even buy power like that. I want to be like that in 10 years. I want to be like that now. Knowledge is stronger than belief! <laughs> Clarence, you need the miracles. I have a plan. I can see! I can see! <laughs> God sent me to deliver his message. I am your new messiah. Blasphemous you swine! Ah, stop that! Your God is a myth. See for yourselves, there is no messiah. Parents, if you'll be so kind, to walk on water. You're all the very best in the world at what you do. I want you to know that this isn't your typical contract. It's more like a competition. To kill me, king of killers. Or I can guarantee I will kill you. We're still on for tonight, right? 8 p.m. at the coal train. My anniversary's tomorrow. Marcus? Baby. Don't worry, baby. I'll find out who did this. You're invited to eliminate the world's greatest assassin. So who's the client? Dracos. I'm in. Where are they sending you? Welcome to Japan. You set all this up? I'm your employer. I work alone. Nobody leaves until the game is finished. And we fight hard and die with honor. That's what I'm talking about. He set this whole thing up. We have to change the rules on him. That the only way we survive this is if we work together. All of us versus you. <laughs> How fun does that sound? Dragos! I told you I was competitive. Who does bleed? You sure you want a piece of that? Who's next? You heard of your Dracos? Who has it? Former Greek EYP lifer said to have killed more people than the plague. Some say he's a myth. What about him? The king of killers. My employer. He wants him eliminated. <laughs> Who's your employer? Oh, come on, you know the drill. Need to know basis, but you don't need to know. Is that a fact? Let's cut the crap out, Marcus. I know you're interested. Uh, 
gave up that life a long time ago. I'm all my daughter's got left. Yes. But ten million dollars, that's enough to take care of you and Kimberly for the rest of your life. I mean, that'll give her the life that she deserves. A good education, a trust fund. Can't be easy being a single parent these days. I'll be expecting your call. Let's talk soon, Mr. Garrett. Let's talk soon. سالت بود افتادی تو آب یادته؟ آن وقت هم کسی به تو شنا یاد ندارد خیلی کچیک بودی به معلومه که آب دوست دارد هدیه داری خب من چه کار میتونم براتون بکنم؟ مجوز میگیریم برای دخترم که بتونه رکورد دریای شمال رو ثبت کنه. ما اصلا رکورد شمای بانوان نداریم. اونم تو دریا. میرم تو اینا. بر نگردم ولی بر میکرم. نمیرم چرا دریا من پس بسه. تو مملکت اسلامی مگه دختر میره تو آب که تو ادعا کردی رکورد زدی. از تغییر میترسی. ولی من میخوام خودم تغییر بدم. هر کی جایی تو بود کم می آمورد شنا ولی خب تنها کاری هم که بلدم همین I am Dr. Nandor Fodor, the world's foremost parapsychologist. I am not a skeptic. This is the strangest case I have ever encountered. A family living in a farmhouse claim a talking mongoose lives in their barn. The creature's name is Jeff. What do you think about them? A talking mongoose. The Irving family are peculiar. Did you observe this creature? No. No. I did hear it. We are going to the Isle of Man. I have almost 20 years of research in this field. You're here to see Jeff. Is the creature here? Well, because we can't see him, doesn't mean he ain't here. I see. The daughter is a ventriloquist. Dr. Fodor has a tremendous skepticism. Indeed. This is an inexplicable farce. I'd say the wee rascal is probably watching us right now. Everybody on this island has their Jeff story. Tell me yours. You and I both know there ain't no Jeff. Can you tell him to come out so we can see him? Is that him there? What is the Irving's motive? It strike me as con artists. We hear it with our eyes as much as we do our ears. These people are lying! I think he exists. I'm certain of it. Just show yourself! I mean you no harm! Please! Jeff! Just show me that you're real! Dr. Fodor, there's a call for you. This from him. Hello? 
tomorrow I shall let you see me.